Hey guys, it's Jacinda with Creative Compass Homeschool. So exciting. Today was our first day of school. The kids were so excited. They woke me up early this morning, ready for school. Um, pardon me, I am in my bedroom hiding from my children. I'm not in my homeschool room today because real life here, my little girl is sleeping and her room is right next door. Uh, anyhow, reason for this video, I'm so excited. I know I've told you guys before on other videos that we are starting Classical Conversations this year. Super stoked about that. But we, this afternoon, just got a box in the mail of all of the material that we're planning to implement for Classical Conversations this year. Um, just lots of different history books to go with different subjects and some science kits to go with the human body. So. I have hardly even looked in this box, you guys. I am really excited to get into it with you and go through it and see what everything looks like. And the other thing I have here is one of our unit study boxes. And I'm gonna do a later video on our unit study boxes. It is how I stay organized with our unit studies. But um, I'm gonna, I am putting together a classical conversations history unit box and a science unit box. So everything that's in here is gonna go into two of these and then that's how we'll stay organized and look at what all we want to do. So I've been collecting some different things. I also have some things in here from when I was a kid, like a big box of books that I found from when I was homeschooled. And I put some of those things in here that went really good with, um, with the history of the United States. So um, mostly everything that was going to be from Rainbow Resource and be things that you can order. So let's get into this together. All right, so the first thing we have here is a cross-section heart model. Open it up for you so you can see it better. Okay, so material is kind of like a foam. I don't think it's quite what I was expecting. I, um, I think I wanted something that felt a little more real life, a little more squishy maybe. Um, but it looks like it goes together like that. So you can see that. And then in opening it up, I guess it probably couldn't be squishy since it is a cross section. And that way they it can be cut open in the middle. You can read all about what is inside the heart on there. So um, that's pretty cool, all right? Next thing we have, well, let's see, let's do some of the science stuff first. We got the Magic School Bus Human Body Lab. I think this is going to be great for younger children, maybe for older children too. Um, let's see, let's look and see what all's inside of this. Okay, so just at a quick glance, it looks like it has, well, it definitely has a skeleton, which is going to be lots of fun to put together. It also has, and it's a good size skeleton, and it looks like it's made out of good sturdy material. It's definitely bigger. I, I really thought it was like smaller and cheaper, but it looks like it's better material and bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, we have a poster here of the human body. And then it comes with window stickers that we'll probably put in our homeschool room up and on one of our windows and it also has fun fact stickers window stickers that go for with it I think it goes with it um, so you can read some of that there it has different each hand has 27 bones they are the carpals and metacarpals and phalanges so our kiddos actually we did a fun little song that helped them memorize the bones of the body last year they love that so they all have the bones of the body memorized this is a little um, data notebook and it looks like there's also science experiments that come to this I have to get into this deeper but it, it's all quality material has lots of information all these different cards that have different little bits of knowledge on them with science experiments on them gonna be fun gonna give us extra little things to do so I think this is a great kit. It also um, has a few other little things here. I think this is for hanging up our skeleton and just some different things that go with the science experiments. So 
I think this is gonna be a fun little kit. I like it. Okay, next we have a squishy human body. And we actually received this a couple days ago. And we learned about, um, week one, we learned about the different types of tissue. So we took this guy apart a little bit today and looked at the different types of tissue, or the different tissue, the different parts of the body that the different types of tissue are in. And um, I really like him. I'm gonna get him out for you. He is really cool, hang on. Okay, here's our guy. And the kids loved him this morning because he completely comes apart. His ribs come out, all of his internal organs are in there. We, it even comes with like little scissors and um, tweezers and a little specimen tray. So we did some surgery on this guy this morning and he was really fun. Even my three-year-old loved it. So his ribs don't like to stay in very well though. Um, we found that after we took him apart, a little bit difficult maybe to get back together, but definitely made out of neat material. He even has a brain up in the top. You can see his skull. I don't think we reattached it. It's kind of floppy in there. It's not not aligned correctly. Even he's got some broken bones right now. He was well loved this morning and had some surgery done this morning on him that obviously didn't turn out too good. But love this. This, I think, if anything, is a must for um, the Classical Conversations human body This uh, learning this year. This is a must because this has everything in it. All right, next in here, ooh, Teddy Roosevelt. I think this is actually a reader. This is a reader. So this will be above above my son's first grade level, but I think they will definitely enjoy this. The pictures, the pictures are nice and big, not too many words on a page, so my kids will be entertained and this looks really good. This goes through his whole life story. And I think it even, I was kind of glancing at it earlier. It even has about the teddy bear that was made after Teddy Roosevelt. There it is. So I like this little reading size, um, inexpensive book. That's great for a little extra learning about Teddy Roosevelt. And next we have a little book here on the Revolutionary War. A little more reading uh, might be something we kind of do a read aloud with throughout the week. I always strip flip through books backwards. I have no idea why. I'm sorry. Um, I hope that doesn't throw you off. But yeah, this looks good. Has nice big words. My first grader might might read like a few sentences or something out of these books as I'm reading it. Sometimes I say, "Okay, you read this sentence." So probably not for him to read all the way through. But that's great. Okay. I love this, let me get this little, oops, sorry, my camera's going blurry there. Sorry, you guys. Whew, there it goes, it got too crazy. I was going crazy. Uh, this series is on Rainbow Resource. They are easy readers, and they are, I think that they're easy readers. Well, they, they look like they're pretty simple to read inside. They have short sentences. And we have one on the respiratory system, on the circulatory system, and on the nervous system. And I read through the whole nervous system book and I learned things that I didn't even know. I was really excited. And I just think that it's got good, um, fun little comedic graphics. And I think it's going to be really great for younger younger age levels learning about the different systems. All right, a little bit of hands on here for as we learn about the Declaration of Independence. We got a quill and ink. It is, I'm not going to take it out right now, but it looks like it's really great material with a nice cork and a beautiful white feather. The kids will love writing with that. And we have a book here on the War of 1812. Lots of pictures. I love whenever they do this, the fast facts. Those are great for if you have a child that can't, that you don't have long, a long attention span with. Just the little 
tidbits down on the bottom and things like that. And next we have, oh, this is so exciting. I glanced at this earlier. Famous figures of the Civil War. I love anything that we can do to make things more hands-on. Learning about, this is something that we're going to be keeping for years. And as we learn about different, um, different people in the Civil War, we can make the paper dolls out of them. I love the Civil War. I actually, as a teenager, was a Civil War reenactor. I did dress up in the big ball gowns and dresses and we had big Civil War balls and we camped out all weekend. But I also sometimes when they were short on soldiers, I would get my face all dirty and tuck my hair underneath a kepi, that's a Civil War hat, and put on the wool clothes and I would go out to battle. So love the Civil War, love Robert E. Lee, one of my favorite Civil War um, historic figu figures, along with Stonewall Jackson. Yes, yes, yes. This book is going to be a blast. Super excited about it. Okay. Um, fun little book on the Declaration of Independence. Oh yeah. Great pictures. Lots and lots of fun pictures in here. Love this. This will definitely catch my kiddo's attention. And let's see here. The writing is fun, has good dates in it. This, I just love when, um, when it's illustrated so beautifully. I love fun illustra illustrations. It's so much fun too. My kids are starting to recognize as we do different um, artwork at home from acrylic to watercolor they're starting to recognize in books like oh mom this book has watercolor in it so a lot of books have watercolor uh, like this one for instance so this is sorry I didn't tell you this is on James Polk and it is the 11th president all right I feel like I'm going to be learning so much history you this year, you guys. I I feel like I am a little bit ignorant when it comes to some of this stuff. It's been so many years, and I am learning all over again. Last year, we did unit studies on everything in creation that God had made. And when we did the solar system, I was blown away at some of the stuff that I learned. And I really... Um, just was in awe and wonder at the marvelousness of our creator. So I think that learning more American history and more about the human body this year is going to be a blast. So that's James K. Polk, the 11th president. All right. This is on September 11th, 2001. And um, America is under attack. This is going to be an amazing, amazing book. Good. I just definitely remember that day, as I am sure all of you guys do. And I am sad to have to share it with my children, but I do want to share it with them. We've never talked about it before because they're young. And so I'm sure that this book will help help as I explain it to them. All right, George Washington, first president. Easy reader. Oh, yeah, this is definitely my son's level. He's going to enjoy reading this to us. I won't be reading this one to them. He can read this one to all of us. Nice pictures, nice big letters. Um, I love that they've actually bolded some of the words. That might be fun for us to use as vocabulary like colony. We have some neat vocabulary journals we just got. So that's really cool. Okay. Okay. Christopher Columbus, the discovery of the Americas. This book I threw in this box. It is from, it is from Rainbow Resource. You can get it there. I know because I saw it. I actually snagged this at the thrift store though. So 
Oh yeah, I and I have hardly looked through it though. So the old world, the new world, the different toys, but the things that are similar and different. This is a great overall book to have about um, about when Christopher Columbus sailed and everything that he discovered. Yeah, lots of good information. Okay, one more in this box. Oh, this is a heavy, heavy book. It's huge. The Smithsonian Children's Encyclopedia. Oops, sorry, gone blurry there. Let me get it focused back. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. It's all out of sorts. There it goes. Children's Encyclopedia of American History. This is great because for what I didn't get books on, this is a reference book. So we will be able to reference reference different things, read little tidbits. My kids love books like this. They love all the all of the pictures. And we are going to be we have actually some unit studies this year. We're doing the California Gold Rush along with um along with American Indians. So this is going to be really helpful for our unit studies that we're doing at home as well. So huge heavy book, really really thick. And just a really, really amazing reference book with lots of neat pictures in it. Okay, so that was all of our um, stuff that we just got in the mail today. This box is things that I have been collecting throughout the summer and even before the summer because I knew we were going to be doing CC this year. And some of the stuff I even got when I was little, I still have some of my homeschool stuff. I will say that I don't know if you can still get these things, but I will tell you the name of them and the author, and then you can go and Google them. Um, if I do know where I got them, I will definitely let you know. So um, this right here, we were at Barnes & Noble this summer. My husband and I were on a date, and this chart of all the presidents going in order... It just gives a little blurb about each one of them. And it was on clearance because it ended at President Obama and it did not have our newest president in there. So um, I got it for like a dollar. I was so excited. Um, let's see here. This is a geography, geography book. Has some different activities in it. Coloring, locating. Good for as we learn our geography in CC. All right, this is a book called The Americas. It's a sticker atlas of discovery and exploration. It is written by Robert Crouch. And this is from when I was a kid. So it has, um, it even has like Lewis and Clark in it and the route that they took. There I go again, flipping from the back. It has different great explorers that discovered the United States and the Americas. I'm not exactly sure. It says it's a sticker book. I'm sure it probably had stickers in it at one at some point in time. Okay, Us Born. I love Us Born books. Um, we got this last year. We did a little bit on the human body last year. This is a the flip flap body book. It has where you can open up the flaps. This is wonderful for young children. It does. It has great little bits of knowledge, but not too much. Funny pictures, it goes through the whole body and your senses and what you can just um, taste it, smell it, um, what happens in your mouth, it goes through your teeth and bacteria and um, digesting food. So I, every single one of these has got a flap. I love, love, love us born books, love them. Okay, grab this one at Barnes and Nobles. This is the first human body encyclopedia. It has a lot of information in it. It is 
great for younger kids with the pictures and the little bits here and there. Great for older kids too because it has um, it dives a little bit deeper. So this will be a fun one just to sit down and read little bits here and there. All right, this is one that I've had since I was a kid. It is called I Love America, a treasury of popular stories, history, poems, and songs. It is a golden book, and um, I will probably do a video about it later, but we've been do starting to do something called Poetry Tea Time, where we sit down in the afternoons, and we have once a week, I shouldn't say, definitely not every day, you guys. I do not sit down and have tea with my boys every day. I'm not that, not that good. Um, I sit down on Saturdays, and we have tea together, and the kids each pick out a poem to read about and this is all poems about America and it has other information in it along with that that has stories and the presidents and pictures of the United States and songs so I'll probably let them pick poems out of here to do during our poetry tea time um, along with using it for other other things another Usborne book yay this is one of their um, one of their flip flap, let's see here, Look Inside Your Body. This is one of their Look Inside books. It has tons of little flaps. My kids love these. So it starts out with, let's see, chewing your food. Goes down to into your stomach as your food gets digested. These are so much fun. It really engages the children as they read. Going into the small intestine. Uh, let's see. Going into the large intestine. Oh, there's some poop. So, uh, has all sorts of different little silly pictures. And my kids just get super engaged in these as they want to lift up every flap. And what does this say? What does this say? What does it say in here? What's going on in there? So, these are really great for young young listeners and young readers because it just really engages them all right these i was so excited about i think they were a dollar each i hit the tar target dollar aisle and they're probably not going to be there long but they were there right now and i was so excited these are little president workbooks and give you a little close-up you write write the last name gives you a little puzzle to solve and just gives a little bit of information on each one. So I was excited. I grabbed two of those Target Dollar Oil aisle right now, summer 2017. All right, the coloring book of the Great Explorers. I love this. Let me tell you who this is by. It doesn't say. It is a Bellerophone book. We already took out, there's Christopher Columbus. We already took him out and colored him. The kids are really starting to enjoy. It does have some kind of naky people on here, you guys. So you can decide it has like some of the mythical things. My kids were pretty engaged in looking at the pictures. Um, but I'm a birth doula, so we are pretty open with the human body. So, um, so The Voyage of Columbus, this book I love. It's a pop-up book. See if I can tell you who it is by. It says Sears on the back. You can see that produced by Individual Communications. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of fun. I really, really love this book. I have had this one since I was a kid, so it's well loved. It has what Columbus or what everybody thought that the Earth looked like. It tells all about Columbus. It tells about um, just his whole exploration. It even has his journaling in it from his journal. So it talks about what he saw out on the ocean. It has some wheels that spin. It talks about what life was like on board. This is an amazing, amazing book. I really, really love this. I'm so glad we have it. I hope that they still make it for your guys' sake. Uh, that's just a Weesing book. World history, we're not doing that in CC this year's map skills. Um, some of this is for, yeah, it's for younger children, first through probably fourth grade. Uh, learning about miles and scaling, measuring. 
So it just has lots of activities. Beginning map skills. It has got reproducible pictures in it. And yeah, I think it's great. Okay, this is a lot of fun. This is a book with famous ships in it. And it has um, kind of like that Civil War one I showed you earlier. It has reproducible printouts and it does have in it Columbus's ships. So it has instructions on how to put these boats together. And I think it'd be really, really fun for a little bit older children. I think we're probably going to wait until the next cycle to actually put, um, or the next, not, sorry, the next, not the next cycle, but the next time we go through cycle three to put it together. Um, and then we have, grab this at the thrift store. That's a Liberty Kids DVD. Has some great, the Liberty Kids series has got great little educational shows on it about different great events in the United States um, that formed our history. And the last thing in there is just some of our, some of our cards. So I hope that this was um, informational for you and that you got to see just a lot of the different content in some of these books and maybe give you an idea of some things that would work well in your homeschool. So thank you so much for watching. Happy homeschool year.